Thank you so much for being here, for getting in contact with us to share some of your personal experience as an INTP. So what brought you here in the first place? I didn't get in contact with you. You contacted me. Yeah, but you accepted. What difference does it make? You agreed to be here. You contacted me, so you brought me here. The cause is not the same. It is not what brought me here. You brought me here. But why did I accept? It's an opportunity to express some ideas and get to know your point of view. Well, yeah, I personally think you're somewhat fascinating. Like a door that leads somewhere unknown. I don't think people find me fascinating. I think people find me boring and hostile. More like a door they wouldn't open. So let's say I open the door. What will I find? Nothing interesting. Do you want this conversation to be over? Yes. Why? I don't see any merit in asking that kind of question. What kind of question? The kind of question where you assume I will open up and share something. I barely share with anyone. Assuming that behind the door there are explicit, understandable and relatable things. I just can't tell you because I don't have the language to tell you what's behind the door. There's no point in just directly asking something that personal. You need to see it by yourself. But you won't open that door for me? No, I can't. I naturally can't. Plus, there's a high possibility that you will decode what I say into known things for you. Which is normal. Everybody does that. But I really want someone to understand without wrongly decoding what I say. Sounds like you have trouble connecting with people. I do. I do. I think I complain with myself about not connecting with people, but as soon as someone tries to connect with me, I just won't let them. Because I don't want to. I enjoy building walls around me. It's more than just about protection. I just want to make sure that when I deal with people in a more personal level, it is the kind of people I really want to deal with. I imagine all of this has brought some trouble when interacting with people close to you, am I right? Well, yeah. People around me feel I don't care about them. And why do you think that is? I don't do the things they expect from me. I care. I just don't do it the way they want me to. So, you say there is a pressure to perform a certain way? Indeed. I think for all of us, it is the same, don't you think? Yeah, everyone is dealing with social expectations, especially in these times. Everybody is asked to act happy, nice, approachable, and even though it might be hard, they somehow achieve it. But I try and no matter what, it's draining. Besides, getting along is not enough reason to waste so much energy. I'd rather be alone with my thoughts. Before continuing, let's go for a little commercial break. Are you tired of not being able to listen to Johnny Be Good after you take a couple of steps out of the room? Then what are you waiting for? Get iPod, the newest solution for listening to your favorite music on the go. Listen in the kitchen. Listen in the bathroom. Listen in the backyard. Listen in the street. Too bad iPods still don't exist. Let's replace it with your own singing. If you wanna dance in another place, sing out loud, no will complain anywhere. We are back. So for those of you folks at home who might just be joining us, we are with Liliana. She's an INTP and she contacted us to share some of her struggles. You contacted me. During our commercial break, one of Liliana's friends sent us a letter she wrote to her after this friend gave her a present and she was quite pissed. May I read it out loud? Sure. Dear Victoria, I received the flying Superman figure you sent me and its bright red cape was not the same red tone from Atom Man vs. Superman. I noticed because I compared the toy with the cover of the movie. Thank you. I will have a good time. 
What do you think about this? I agree. It sounds to me you were not thankful. I'll feed you a knuckle sandwich. Why? <laughs> you were not thankful since the present didn't fully meet your expectations. I didn't say that because I wasn't thankful. I said that because I noticed. But people seem to dislike it when I mention certain things, even if they are true. I said what I noticed. Can't you agree that after receiving a present, you just say thank you? And some other polite short sentence like, Oh my god, I just needed this, or something of that nature. Heavens to bed say! It's just Monday, and I already have someone telling me what I did wrong. It's actually Friday. No, it isn't. Yes? Don't you have a cute kitty calendar in your kitchen to remind you that today is drive-in movie day? <laughs> Why are you looking at the camera? I just wonder who would be watching behind the camera. People at home, of course. No, I don't mean right now. I don't mean this decade. I mean future generations. Will this still be a problem? Will they focus on keeping the world as it is, or changing it for the better? <laughs> so, Jimmy, tell me. My name is Timothy. What do you think about the future? Don't you think we should have something like doors that take us anywhere in time, just to visit decades whenever we want to? It would be dangerous. Why? Because some people might have a dark past they're trying to hide. You could keep doors to yourself, in a secret room. No, I don't agree with what I said. Because people could open the door from the inside, coming from any other time. Especially if they're looking for a specific door. Yes, I wouldn't feel comfortable with people revisiting my past. So let's say I open that door. What will I find? <laughs> Nothing interesting. Do you want this conversation to be over? Yes. Why? I don't see the marriage in asking that kind of question. What kind of question? The kind of question where you assume I will open up and share something I barely share with anyone. Assuming that behind a door there are... <laughs> Jiminy Cricket! Oh, that was so hard. Oh my gosh. I'm very shy, okay?